let's talk about Quincy and how that came about. The very first forensic uh, show on television. That's a I show think. that that everyone said we couldn't do uh, because, uh, and the truth of the matter is, Jack said he had gotten eighty scripts because he had just left um, uh, the Odd Couple. The Odd Couple, and uh, everybody thinks Jack's funny. Jack's funny when Neil Simon's writing. <laughs> He can be a handful other times, but very talented actor, obviously, going all the way back to some of the great early dramas and television. And, and he wanted to do a doctor show. He had a thing about doctors, and he really liked this script. This is the best script he had read. And uh, Lou Shaw had come in to me with an idea for something, and I had, I had always thought that we should work in this area. He, he had the name Quince on a piece of paper and a, and a character. I liked the word Quincy, and it, for no uh, other reason than Quincy Jones uh, is a, you know, one of my uh, favorite uh, people, and I thought the name is lyrical, and I always thought names were very important in a, in a television show and uh, labels and things like that and quick audience identification. We did a script well, uh, on our own. We, this was not bought by a network. Nobody was buying this. We sat down, the studio said, go ahead and write it. Go, but go you ahead. pitched, was it Frank Price who said, we want to do a show about a coroner? Or, or no, did no, you have the idea about doing he, a show about a he coroner? He said, I told him what I wanted to do, and he said, he said, I've always felt there's a great series in that, but we've never been able to lick it. Okay, I mentioned to you that I felt I had a, 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 developed at least a style, and my style was that you could... Um, if you if you infused it with a certain amount of humor, uh, you could present subject matter that maybe otherwise would not be uh, you know thrilling to the audience, and, or or there might be a turnoff. What happened here was beyond belief. We we write a, we write the script, and we write it for someone like Bob Wagner, mm -hmm. and it's a true story. Bob plays a young, a swinging young doctor. Women love him because he's a doctor. Unfortunately, they find out that he works with dead bodies. He only works with dead people. They're not as attracted to him. But we got a scene on the boat where he lives, and it's a beautiful thing like this. Bob comes to me and he said, you can't tell anybody that you pitched this to me because I'm getting out of my contract. And, and he said, I, I'd love to do it, but I really want to get out of here. So we offered to James Earl Jones. Now, James Earl Jones is quite a contrast to Bob Wagner. But, and James Earl Jones is a, you know, a great white hope, all these terrific things. He wants to do crib death and, and things that are very, you know, uh, gutsy current topics. And we said, fine. But he says, I won't do an hour show. And the studio wanted the option to go to an hour. And this was for the, this again was for the mystery movie. So uh, he, they can't make the deal. So then the, someone says, what about Jack Klugman? Well, everybody's been pitching Klugman, and not, he doesn't want to do anything. He reads it. He says he has maybe two notes, and it's the best writing he's ever seen. Everything's wonderful. We bring him aboard. We shoot it, and we take it, and it's Erwin Siegelstein's first day on the job at NBC as the new president. And the, the story dealt with a couple of missing checks in the city of Los Angeles, which is a true story. Uh, and he looks at it and he says, well, of course, the story's ridiculous. No one's ever going to believe that two checks disappeared that were worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and boom, 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 boom. And uh, I think he's kidding, by the way, as this is going down. And, uh, and he says, and we can't possibly do a show about corpses. And they said, well, we've already committed to 13 with Jack Klugman. And he said, well, it's 13 and out. <laughs> we go. And um, they put it on the air against their will, and it ran eight years. You couldn't kill it with a stick. 